For me, as someone who reports on Hollywood, it's a bit disappointing not to have so many big stars here. We've only really got one big Hollywood film, Logan, a superhero movie with Hugh Jackman, uh, which is playing near the end of the festival. Uh, but in general, I think Berlin has a sort of hate, uh, love-hate relationship with, with Hollywood. They like to have the big uh, Hollywood stars come here and have the glamorous red carpets, but they're often really critical of the kind of films Hollywood uh, produces, particularly uh, when it comes to the political messages coming out of Hollywood. And we're seeing a huge interest in documentary films. Um, I think it does have something to do with this phenomenon of, of fake news or the incredible speed at which news is being consumed now that with a documentary film you can go um, really in depth uh, into a, a true story you can you can really reflect in a way that's really impossible in the the 24-hour news cycle I think that's one of the main reasons that uh, documentaries are getting are having such great appeal and why Berlin is putting such a focus on documentaries this year it's a great moment for Europe to stand up uh, and to join forces Forces, as we have done, but also when there's any obstacles in that sense, to not feel discouraged by that, but to say like, I think what's happening in the rest of the world can also happen in Europe again. So I think the European film market has uh, a big future. Um, I think it depends on the attitude that we take in Europe. And I think in the next year, a lot of that attitude will be decided, both in the film industry and outside of the film industry.